Microsoft say most of its Xbox services are now operating normally, but Sony is still reporting problems with its PlayStations, a group by the name of Lizard Squad is claiming responsibility for the attack. Earlier, someone called Alex, that's not his real name, but we're using that to protect him against any possible hacks, told us how he felt not being able to play his PlayStation on Christmas Day. Yeah, so uh, basically I got my, um, I got a PlayStation for my birth, uh, for Christmas, and I unwrapped it yesterday, and as you can imagine, I tried to, to get it working uh, immediately, and uh, basically... The, um, <clears throat> I tried to log on to the PlayStation Network and uh, I got an error message and I've continued to get an error message um, for the last two days, basically, and it's been really annoying. Yeah, so, I'm sure it's been annoying. What, what do you think of the people that have done this? Uh, well, I, I, I don't... I, well, I'm not very happy with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> not at all. It's really annoying because I, I, I just want to pay a lot of money for for the PlayStation um, and, um, you know, want to be able to use it properly, and I can't, so... Yeah, of course, they're saying that it all started off for laughs, but th this is a way of, of showing down how s susceptible these companies are to hacking. They're actually doing this for the public good, Alex. Ah, well, you know, at the end of the day, I would expect Sony to have, you know, proper security in place as, uh, uh, as standard, and, um, you know, that... That's that's all. That's what I suppose should should really happen for a multinational company such as Sony, and they should really have good security. But still, doesn't really excuse people hacking in there for fun and you know uh, messing up. Uh, I don't know how many people people have been affected by it, but it's loads. Has it ruined your Christmas? Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far, but it's it's been very very annoying. Yeah, very annoying. Well, let's hear from Member 1 and Member 2. They claim to be from Lizard Squad, the group who claim to be behind this hack. Member 1 started by telling me why they carried out the attack. Largely, they raise awareness regarding these issues. I mean, I'm rather curious. Would you trust a company we can just take down like this with your credit card information? So you're doing this for the public good. You want us to believe that? Yes. We're also doing to amuse ourselves with there is definitely the aspect of public good And what is, what is amusing about disrupting ordinary people's lives and getting some type of power kick out of it? Uh, I personally find many of the comments, lots of the response we've been receiving rather amusing. You find this funny too, Member 2, do you? Uh, I so much don't really find it that funny because um, I actually do security uh, legally, so I'm... Um, I'm not really, I don't really have the dark sense of humor as much as uh, the other guys, but uh, I was only just in it just because of the awareness of companies, like just giving you a small example, like the attacks were stopped for uh, almost 14 hours ago now, right? And um, Sony are still struggling to fix their DNS servers, so they, they still don't propagate properly, whereas uh, Microsoft have already managed to bypass that and Xbox Live services are currently up and everyone's playing their games and they're just you know just enjoying their boxing day and we still have people from uh, my, uh, so well Sony players um, PS4 people just like tweeting in and asking us about the, the consoles just having issues you know it's just it just shows the goes to show how um, unreliable Sony really is which is one of the main reasons why I'm kind of interested in this yeah, and, and to hell with all of the people that get their lives disrupted in the meantime, is that right? You just don't care? Um, not so much that we don't care about their lives being disrupt uh, disrupted. I mean, surely people could, could go for uh, one day, you know, it's just, I mean, it wasn't even a day in, in total. It was just like 12 to 14 hours. I mean, uh, th put, put it like this. Let's just say that these attacks weren't done on Christmas Day, right? These attacks were done on, on, on a random day. Let's just say it was done on the 20th of December. Would Sony and uh, Microsoft take the attacks just that serious, if you think about it? Have you got children? I don't know. I've just turned 22. Right. I wonder what it's like for a child when he wakes up and you know he gets this as a Christmas present, oh, and then um, and then and then he can't play it because of people like you. Yeah, that's understandable. I've got a ten-year-old brother. Um, he came up to my room and he was just like, um, "I can't play Minecraft," and I'm like, "Oh, it's fine. Services will be back up soon." So he just went downstairs and ended up watching Nickelodeon. Maybe you should have told him, "I'm the idiot that's disrupting children's lives on Christmas Day." 
Well, it's not really disrupting if it's just a day, you know. I wouldn't really take it that far. I mean, it's it's secure. So how is at the it end not disrupting? So when you've got children on Christmas Day, they've got a present. Their parents might have worked all year to buy that present, mm -hmm. and you're disrupting their lives on Christmas Day. And why? Because you can. Right. Exactly. Just because we can. But not only that, but. Put it like this, is Christmas really about children playing their, uh, their new consoles or playing with their new toys or is it about them spending time with their family and celebrating Christmas? I think everyone's just taking it completely out of the ordinary, um, whereas people are saying, oh, I've spent this amount on, on a console which is useless and it doesn't work and, and that it's, it's not about kids uh, playing th their games or yeah. so going out and stuff. It's about spending time with their family. So it's now about you, a 22-year-old... Who's mm -hmm. barely lived with no children, no family, oh, in, in terms of, in terms of children around you. Now you're deciding how people should live their lives on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Now no, you're that's, deciding that's, what's important to them on Christmas Day. That's just my opinion. It's not a fact. It's just my opinion. Yeah, but you're enforcing your opinion on others, aren't you? That's what you're doing. Uh, well, it, it happens, sir. Uh, we can't go back now. Um, it wasn't really. We weren't gonna go back in the first place. It was just something that was planned, really. Why did you choose Sony and Microsoft? Uh, specific reasons. One of the the biggest multi-billion, god, just such a huge company, Microsoft, can uh, prevent s such an attack. You know, like, would you not think that they should be able to prevent such an attack? Like, I mean, th think about. All the all the knock technicians that they have um, running their servers and don't, their DNS servers and everything, you know, protecting their network security, and all of a sudden um, they 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 were told that this would come on Christmas Day. Um, they saw it. They just let, let it go over their heads, and they still can protect themselves against um, a couple of um, as you say, people that have barely lived um, with, with not much experience, right? Not, um, of, of living and they, you, they couldn't protect themselves against people like us. Well, you said you work in security, so have you got a lot of training? Just how sophisticated a hacker are you? Um, I wouldn't really call myself um, a top-grade hacker. I know people uh, that are way better than me, but um, I think um, I know my stuff, so I think it's, um, it, it's fair to say that I, I do know some of my stuff, and this just proves it, right? So it doesn't take a, a degree of sophistication to do this? Well, an, an ordinary hacker honestly, that wants not, to disrupt children's lives on Christmas Day could do this, mm -hmm. could they? If if they if they put their their minds to it, whereas w with me, where p people friends of mine they used to they'd go out clubbing, party, and I really didn't enjoy that. I did do it for a bit. I found it dull, so I decided to just sit at home and um, learn more skills of my own. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's helped me along. Um, the way so maybe this uh, isn't a, something that most people enjoy and think that it's it, it was a, it was a good decision but to us I think um, it, it was just something that we've just decided upon so yeah it happened um, when, when you say it, it happened um, will you do this again um that's really hard to say because um, I'll be honest with you it was completely unplanned this this whole thing that just happened it was less than a two week plan like it, it literally took a couple of days to just plan out like that that's how easy it was how, how many people are there in your group lizard squad um, there's no more than 10 and who controls the group like who decides if it happens or not is there a uh, is there a king like, lizard no there isn't no uh, i'm afraid there isn't a king lizard it's just uh where we're just um you know, it's someone decides or, or comes up with an idea, and if everyone likes it, we just go ahead with it. It is pretty. It is pretty remarkable, actually, that you know, that someone like you and a handful of of other teenagers, mm. twenty year olds, uh, can can disrupt the company to this extent. Um, I'll give you that. And yet, you're trying to tell me that you do this for moral reasons, right? This specifically wasn't for a moral reason. This was the first time that I've done anything like uh, grey hat wise. I'm usually more of um, the white hat security type of person where I try and tend to help people out. But um, I just decided to get in on this. You know, I mean, I really don't feel that I shouldn't have. But um, so you don't feel any sense of shame. Uh, in all honesty, um. If I did, I would have probably apologised by now, but no, I don't. You see, some people might question your morality. Some people oh, yeah. might question the type of 22-year-old 
little hacker that you are. Um, because Twitter reports say that the owner of Mega Upload, Kim.com, mm-hmm. offered your squad 3,000 lifetime encrypted vouchers to stop the hacking, which you accepted. Yeah. We did, yeah. Right. So it was nothing really to do with exposing a company for the greater well, good. You took the we, money and you ran, didn't you, like oh, a yeah. petty criminal? Well, we didn't really expect money from it in the first place. If we really cared about money, we could have used the Twitter accounts that we uh, generated over 50,000 followers within 24 to 48 hours. We could have used that for monetization, you know. We could have easily linked out a couple of, uh, sent, uh, sent out a couple of linked um, uh, pro- uh, profiles or whatever that, that could literally like each click gain us three to six cents depending per country, France, for example. Why did you take the like, vouchers then? It was just an offer, you know, we were really, um, it's it's hard to say, it was just a one-time thing. It's $300,000 worth of vouchers. Dirty, grubby, greed. Well, th- that's what happens, I'm afraid, that, that that's what it, it is like in the security Many business. Many children's lives do you think you disrupted for your greed? God, um, well, we, we have been called um, the Grinches of 2014, so, yeah. uh, God, I, I wouldn't even be able to even go, like think of a number I think it's just millions millions like quite a few of them like your little 10 year old brother uh yeah I mean, but I that, don't that, think that, that makes you a man doesn't it makes uh, you a real man you must feel powerful disrupting 10 year olds it, it really depends I don't know I don't really have an opinion you on feel that feel strong never... do you no, you don't feel strong by doing this. You just uh, you feel that that you have the power to do something, and maybe the company could actually change for the better. But um, obviously, Sony still hasn't. A lot of people out there might criticise us, the BBC, for uh, giving you this interview because I guess they they will say that we're giving you the publicity that your group wants. Well, um, I don't think that they have the right to say that because we've been offered interviews. Uh, TV interviews where we've been offered with CNN uh, earlier on today, um, Washington News, uh, Sunday Times, Daily Dot, just literally a couple of minutes ago, just before you, you came on air with us. Um, they just published an article, which is really huge. I'm pretty sure you know them. So uh, we're not really getting any publicity um, that we don't already have, if, if that makes sense. So they don't have any right to be blaming you guys for anything, to be honest. What would make you stop this? Uh, it's it's already been stopped right now. What like, would make you stop doing it again? Like, what are you actually trying to achieve? What's the end game here? There is no end game. That's the thing. Um, the, like I said, or like my uh, friend said, um, it's for for some of us it was just uh, for the fun of it, and for others it was just to see um, what we could achieve, to see if it could happen, to see if it could work. You know, so. It's just, it really depends and it's random. I'm, I'm sorry to go back to this again, but I will. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an ordinary guy and I guess mm. that I, I, I expect, you know, ordinary people to, rese- to respond the same as, as I do. Presumably you wouldn't go into a child's house, lift his mm-hmm. PlayStation and smash it on the ground <laughs> on Christmas Day just so that he couldn't play it. No, of course like you're not. You're not that type of dork, are you? No, that, uh, that's just horribly sick. Uh, and yet you've I done, and yet you've done the equivalent. Well, it's not really the equivalent because their consoles weren't even uh, their consoles were working. The only thing they couldn't do was just access their online. Um, they still have access to it right now, and they had access to it after the attack stopped. It really depended on the DNS servers, and most people are still on right now. I mean, yeah. those kids. Uh, do you really think that 14 hours is, do we live in such a world where 14 hours of not being able to access um, a console which they were gifted is, is such a crime? You sound quite articulate. You sound quite intelligent. And yet you're doing such a stupid thing. Would you not prefer to be a, 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 a better citizen for wherever it is you live? Would you not actually prefer to do some good? Oh, yeah. That's um, pretty much what we usually do, but uh, like I said, this was just um, a bit of uh, fun, which we, we didn't really plan too much. We just thought that we should just do it, you know. Uh, I can't really say any more than that, to be honest, but yeah, um, let one me, day. I'd... Let me go back to Alex, who's been listening to this. Sure. Alex, what have you made of what you've heard? Um, well, uh, I mean, it's very ab- admirable, um, you know, to try and expose the security flaws of multinational companies 
which make a lot of money from you know from ordinary people buying their products and so forth. So you know, I do expect them to have really high security. But I would I would contend that doing it on Christmas Day. Um, and doing it in such a fashion is not the right way of doing things, really, because you've upset a lot of people, um, a lot of kids out there, uh, a lot of you know, young people that you know have only a few days during the year where they can you know hang out with their families and spend time with them and you know just have fun, and and to do it like you know uh, over these days, I, I don't think it's right. Member two, can I just come back to you again? Why are you not frightened of getting caught? I'll be honest with you. Um, I've I've been told um by several people, friends and family that that know of this, workers um, that that I, there is a chance that I will get caught, and I personally don't really, I'm not really that worried about it. To be honest, if I get caught, then I get caught. Maybe um I'll end up serving time, or maybe I'll end up um uh, helping companies uh or helping the company uh that we attack. To, to, you know, just help them get better, I guess. So, I, I, I'm interested in how this group actually formed. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, some of us didn't know others, and uh, some of us were close friends from years ago. From uh, let, Let's just say this sounds really bad, but the majority of the security researchers out there start on underground hacking forums. You have to lurk to understand what's going on. You have to be able to hack to be able to prevent uh, other companies from getting hacked, you know? It's it's the basics. Um, so we started on underground hacking forums, really, uh, where you were either invited to the forum or you had to like build your own reputation and stuff like that. That's where we started, at least. Um, and we just joined other forums and we met one another, shared skills and assets. Here's my so. final question. Remember, when I'll ask you this. So, what do you predict the future is? Like, are we are we going to? Do you think the future is, is, is groups like yours disrupting national companies who... who... Um, I believe that's going to keep happening until these companies actually take some steps to prevent these attacks. I mean, for me, doing that, preventing attacks like this would be relatively simple, but it appears that companies like Sony or Microsoft don't just have the kind of people to do this on their payroll for some reason, or... Either that or they're just not putting enough money in it. Well, I don't believe you. So you're telling me it's relatively simple and they just haven't done it? Yeah, it is relatively simple. It, it would take uh, an, invest an investment of a couple of million dollars per month, maybe, to prevent attacks like this, but that would be nothing for Sony or Microsoft. They make just, that in a day. Just think of how much they lost uh, in the past 14 hours. Well, in the 14 hours that well, Sony's almost been offline for over 24 yeah. hours. Actually, they have Microsoft have like got back onto their feet because they actually have people that know what they're doing somewhat know what they're doing. Whereas Sony is still charging four to five pounds a month for their membership, and they still can't prevent their servers from um or. or they can't upgrade their servers to, to the state where they could actually like prevent such a simple attack. Like, it costs money, but it, it, in, in, in the long run, it's so worth it. They just don't do it because they want to keep money for themselves. Maybe now they'll change their minds after what's just happened, hopefully. Yeah, there's a statement here from Microsoft. Yesterday, some users weren't able to sign in to Xbox Live. Our teams worked throughout the holiday to mm -hmm. resolve the issue, and Xbox Live core services have now been uh, restored. Um, how come they can't, you know, I've always been told follow the money if you want to find criminals, people like you two. Um, how come you can't be found through these encrypted vouchers, member one? Uh, well, uh, well, I've got the encrypted vouchers here, but I'm personally not going to use them. I mean, it would be rather hard to identify me based on those vouchers. And even if that happened, that wouldn't hurt me at all. I mean, the cops could come here, they'd pick up a computer, they'd look at the computer for a while, then they'd find out there's really nothing that connects me to these attacks conclusively on the computer. And then they'd have to let me go. You gonna spend your money, number two? Um, I honestly, I, like I told them, um, number one, um, I really don't care about the money. I told them that I, I would get rid of these vouchers for them and I don't want a percentage of it. They offered me a percentage and everything as we share it and I said, no, I don't really want any money from it. Why like, do you take them then? 
I'm just selling it. I'm not doing anything else other than that. Like all I do is just set it and give them their shares, and that's it. I'm done. I don't want. A, I don't even want a penny from it. I don't care about the money. I'm, why, I don't so do why did you take money. them? Well, the vouchers. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't just. Uh, it wasn't just our decision. I mean, my decision to just like say, look, we don't want the vouchers. It, there, there's a, there's a bunch of us, you know. So if if the majority of them wanted it, then I, I can't say no, you know. Well, there you go. Um, uh, interesting conversation. Some of you will, will support what that group are doing. Some of you won't. Here's the number 0500 909 693. We'll get the news now. It's half 11.